Justin Danoff will now introduce proposal number 12, requesting a report on viewpoint discrimination. Mr. Danoff has pre-recorded the following statement. I'm Justin Danhoff of the National Center for Public Policy Research, and I move Proposal 12, which questions Amazon's reliance on the discredited Southern Poverty Law Center as the gatekeeper of the Amazon Smile charitable program. The SPLC is a bigoted organization whose own staffers have also accused it of racism and sexism. Yet Amazon allows the SPLC to pick and choose which charities are eligible for the Smile program? Why? The extreme leftists at the SPLC use this power to exclude groups that it disagrees with ideologically, while it, in turn, reaps tremendous windfall from the SMILE program. This is wildly hypocritical. We suggest the IRS investigate this corrupt arrangement and clear conflict of interest. In the meantime, shareholders should demand that Amazon end this scheme. The SPLC is known mostly for publishing an annual hate map listing America's supposed hate groups. This cynical yearly exercise is little more than a public listing of SPLC's political enemies. How else can one explain the SPLC categorizing groups such as the Alliance Defending Freedom alongside the Ku Klux Klan? ADF is one of the nation's preeminent legal advocates for religious liberty, which has scored 10 victories at the United States Supreme Court since 2011. Everyone knows the Klan is a hate group. What the SPLC is trying to do is convince naive Americans that conservative and religious organizations are morally equivalent to the KKK. In 2014, the FBI removed the SPLC as a source, citing a number of concerns. Last year, even the far-left leadership of Twitter dumped the SPLC from its Trust and Safety Council after many of the group's scandals were exposed. Some of those scandals were exposed by Mr. Bezos' own radically liberal newspaper, The Washington Post, which ran headlines such as, The Southern Poverty Law Center has lost all credibility. And something strange is going on at this civil rights institution, it must be investigated, which called for a federal probe into the SPLC. Last year, a former SPLC staffer even wrote in The New Yorker that SPLC co-founder Morris Dees, quote, viewed civil rights work mainly as a marketing tool for bilking gullible northern liberals. Amazon's leadership may be that gullible, but let's show them that we investors are not. Please join me in voting in favor of proposal number 12. Thank you.